the library. The Moon Empress is an immortal dragon and the co-ruler of the Empire of Cathay with her husband, the Celestial Dragon Emperor. Along with her husband, she spends most of her time in the Celestial City above Wei Jin, contemplating the destiny of the Empire. Like the other dragons of Cathay, she can shapeshift into human form to communicate with her subjects. The Moon Empress is aligned with the Yin side of harmony, more associated with night and subtlety, but is not evil. She has a strange species of crow men who work as agents, going out across Cathay to root out chaos cultists and other insidious forces on her behalf. The Dragon Emperor and the Moon Empress have nine children. Five rule over sections of Cathay, while the whereabouts of the other four are unknown. The Jade Dragon is the first, an excellent bureaucrat who dwells in central Cathay and handles edicts from the Dragon Emperor. Li Dao, the Fire Dragon, ruler of the southern provinces, is nominal ruler of the Mountains of Heaven, master of the Burning Winds and Lord of the Phoenix, who guards against Ind and the Nagas of Khuresh, who may approach from the south. Yin Yin is the Azure Sea Dragon, ruler of the Eastern Provinces and the Admiral of the Grand Dragon Fleet. There are also four missing children, three who may have been killed, trapped or corrupted by chaos or other forces, and one which is rumoured to be trapped or killed in the Great Dragon River. But the last true, definitely living dragons are our focus. Mao Ying, the Black Storm Dragon, ruler of the Northern Provinces and commander of the Great Bastion. And Zhao Ming, the White Iron Dragon, ruler of the Western Provinces and lord of Shang Yang. Zhao Ming is the preferred child of the Moon Empress. As one of the rulers of Cathay, he is an immortal dragon who can take human form. This makes him an incredibly powerful combatant, an amazing sorcerer, and a natural leader. He rules over Western Cathay and the Ivory Road that leads to the Mountains of Morn. A hardened frontier warrior, he maintains the western edge of the Empire and keeps the desert clans in order. This area is a less defended, if less chaotic, and chaotic in the sense of the factions of the north area of the world. The western provinces contain beasts and men of all sorts coming from further west, as well as the regular incursions of Skaven and Ogres from the Warpstone Desert and the Mountains of Morn. The creation of the Great Moor still hangs heavy on this area, even as an uneasy peace maintains. Many trade caravans leave Cathay from Zhao's domain, and particularly to and from the mighty city of Shang Yang, seen as a gateway to the west, and should they be successful, he will reap the wealth and prestige, which is usually important to the Iron Dragon, as he is not as beloved by his father as his older sister, although rumours say the Moon Empress has a soft spot for her son, her preferred child. Zhao Ming is a natural-born warrior, although less innately skilled than his sister to the north. He is talented as an alchemist and shows great preference for the art among his armies, leading to presence of sorcerous cabals of metal wizards in Zhao Ming's realm, much to the chagrin of those that find the insidious magics worrying for the Empire, such as the Jade Dragon, who sees the encouragement of sorcerous organizations outside the Celestial Court as dangerous to the Empire's stability. These sorcerers help the Iron Dragon in his experiments of alchemy. Many magical weapons and armor are forged inside the Dragon's cities.
These cabals used the city of Shang Yang as a base for their expeditions to the Warpstone Desert. Some never return. Others come back loaded with exotic ores that end up in the forges with the Iron Dragon as enthusiastic as any of the other alchemists to begin experimenting. Zhao Ming is as skilled as an artisan as those drawn to him, since he has a dragon's lifespan to perfect such expertise and research the mysteries of arcane metallurgy. The strange elements found in the Warpstone Desert have only deepened Zhao's fascination and understanding of alchemy, but also many fear his mind is permanently damaged from the exposure, and many eccentricities or erratic behaviours that he displays are very worrying to his siblings. While the other dragons are cold-blooded and detached from the mortals they rule, the Iron Dragon will share a jape or even drink with his followers. Such mortal behaviour inspires loyalty within his legions that makes him stand apart from his kin. This makes him far more gregarious as a character than his eldest sister, Mao Ying, and he gets especially offended by her aloofness. In any case, even if his siblings look upon him with suspicion, the Moon Empress is very fond of her son, and will shield him from ire when the family assemblies become less than harmonic. Mao Ying, the Storm Dragon, Master of the Storm Winds, and Supreme Matriarch of Nangao, is the ruler of the northern provinces of Cathay and Castellan of the Great Bastion. As the eldest child of the Imperial family, she is an immortal dragon that can take human form. She is arguably the most powerful dragon alive save her mother and father. Immense power and immense responsibility land on her shoulders, and she can seem cold and aloof in comparison to her siblings. The defense of the realm, the future of Grand Cathay, and much more is quite the burden to bear. Cold and aloof, she has ruled over the northern provinces for centuries, and maintains their defences with strength of arms and wondrous war machines. For the Great Bastion is the shield that protects Cathay from the ruinous powers of the north, and while it stands strong, so too does Cathay prosper. Largely considered the favourite of her father by the other dragons, the Storm Dragon lords her position over her siblings, and when they meet often stands apart from them. Her younger brother, Zhao Ming, in particular, is far more gregarious, and uh, they clash often, personality-wise. Despite her power, the Storm Dragon has a significant task in defense of the North, as that is why she was picked for it, and her armies are almost constantly at war. There is a reason why the Grand Bastion is where it is, of course. Added to this, the independence of the lords of Nangao, whom she relies upon to arm the Great Bastion with their wondrous war machines. Outwardly they work together, but the lords often scheme amongst themselves and against her, dividing her attention from the Empire's enemies beyond the wall. Her vaunted position also means her father entrusts her with important tasks, some of which can put her at odds with her siblings, especially if she is required to deal with chaos incursions within the Empire itself. <laughs>